Hello, in this mobile how-to video I'm going to show you how to set up your LG G3 from the start as if you've just purchased it. So I've done a factory reset, this is exactly what it would look like right out of the box and we are going to go ahead and set it up together. So the language of choice, let's start with that. Well I'm English as you can tell by the accent, so it's going to be English and of course the language I'm speaking. Accessibility, use settings for people with physical disabilities. So I could go ahead and have a look at what sort of access, uh, accessibility options there are. For example, font size, inverting the colours, changing the shades on the screen, and text-to-speech output, that sort of stuff. But I'm happy right now, so I'm going to go ahead and tap Next. So it's saying Set Internet Connection, Mobile Network or Wi-Fi. I'm going to go ahead and just tap Next. Without Internet Connection, Next settings may not be available. Continue. I'm just going to go ahead and ignore that. You should go ahead and put your... Actually, I'm going to go back and show you. I'm going to put network for now, just so I don't have to share personal information. Got Google. Do you have a Google account? If so, use Gmail or Google Apps. Answer yes. I'm going to tap no. I do have a Google account, but I'm just showing you how to get to the device as main menus. Make it Google. Never lose your stuff again. A Google account keeps everything safe. So basically what they're saying is if you sign up for a Google account, you can sync your contacts, calendar, events, photos, etc. You know, all that sort of good stuff. I'm going to tap not now. Now, let apps determine your location. For some people, that's a little bit creepy, so you can go ahead and turn that on or off just by tapping that box. I'm going to go ahead and untap that. Actually, I'll leave that tapped. For improved accuracy and other purposes, scan for Wi-Fi networks even when Wi-Fi is off. And Google's location services uses Wi-Fi. So just have a read. Once you're done, tap next again. The phone uses your name to personalise some apps. So I'll type in my first and last. So I've done that. Going to go ahead and tap done in the bottom right hand corner and it's setting a knock code. So what I can do is I can create a knock code which allows me to unlock the device or lock, the, lock it if I wanted to just by tapping in a sort of three areas of the screen or four areas of the screen. I'm going to go ahead and skip that. I can sort of customize my home touch button combination. I'm happy with the stock one so I'll leave that as well. Tap next asking me for a phone number, I'm going to leave that blank. I'm just going to go ahead, tap done, go skip, legal documents, next, select all, yeah, we understand, we agree, don't even know what I'm agreeing to, double tap the screen, etc. So there we go, we're set up and we're into the LG G3, we can go ahead have a play. Of course, when you click applications, it's going to pop up saying you can do this and, you know, giving you the guided tour that Android likes to do. But that's how you'd set up an LG G3 for the very first time. 